This is a practice exercise video solution. For this practice, we'll be using the supplied dataset Crease. Notice in this dataset, there's no timeline at the bottom. So the first thing that we want to do is right click on Crease in the browser and capture design history. Once we do that, notice that we have a form body which can be edited. Inside of here, there are a few things that we want to do. The first of which is create a division in this open face here, and we'll go to modify and insert point, select each of these points, and if you're prompted, you'll want to upgrade the T-spline body to make sure that you can use all new functionality. That's often asked anytime there's an update to Fusion and new functionality is added. Once that inserted edge is there, we're going to go to modify and select crease. We're going to be adding a crease along some of the edges of this body. We're going to work our way around till we get all the way back to the bottom and we'll say OK. We're going to repeat that using our right click marking menu and we're going to apply a crease on the inside loop. By double clicking, I'm able to grab the entire loop quickly and easily. Now that we have a crease on the inside and the outside, I also want to explore another tool called Beveled Edge. For the bevel edge, I'm going to double click on this and I'm going to take a look at some of my settings. I can increase the number of segments and I can increase the bevel location or decrease it. In this case, I'm going to decrease it to 0.2 and say OK. Now we've used that creased edge and we've added a bevel that goes between it. Once we're done, we can select finish form and it gets converted back to a surface body in the design workspace. From here, let's make sure that we do save this design before moving on.